Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here, and this is the Nokia Lumia 1520. Alright, so I've done a few Windows Phone reviews over the course of this year, my most recent being the Lumia 1020, and this one here is my favorite. You guys know I like pixels, and yes, that does have something to do with it, but basically, because the software is so similar to the Lumia 1020, and the 920, and 925, and most of the others, I'm going to focus here on the new hardware, because this is the best Windows Phone hardware yet. Now, right off the bat, yes, it's bigger than other Windows phones, and that might put some people off because these phones weren't exactly small to begin with, but you get an exceptionally well-built phone here, as you'd expect with the Lumia. It's the 1520, and the back has this matte white coating. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier than some other phones, but you get this unibody enclosure, and this entire phone basically has no seams, not even in the corners, so your grip is never interrupted no matter how you hold this phone, and this phone feels really great in the hand. Again, it helps to have bigger hands if you're gonna hold a bigger phone like this in one hand, but essentially, it's it's a great feeling phone. Uh, you can also get this phone in a couple of other colors like red or yellow or black, I believe, and maybe blue, uh, but I'm liking this Stormtrooper look. Now, this phone has specs that put it on top of just about everything and anything released this year. Android, iOS, Windows Phone, anything. First of all, it's the first 1080p Windows Phone. That's a big part of why I picked it up to check it out in the first place. It's rocking a six inch 1080p display, which puts it at about 370 pixels per inch, very sharp. And it looks much better than the display on the Lumia 1020. If you remember my review of that beast in yellow, it actually had a 720p display and I could see some pixels in some UI elements that were only supposed to be one pixel wide. Well, the higher pixel density here on the 1520 basically eliminates that problem, and everything looks great on it, along with the, of course, awesome viewing angles, great colors, everything. So the display on the Lumia 1520 is killer. Now, along with being the first Windows phone to have a 1080p display, this is not the only place where it's the king of specs. Check it out. This has the 2.2 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 800, the Adreno 330 GPU, which is brand new, the two gigabytes of RAM, Gorilla Glass LTE. It has a 20 megapixel camera with Zeiss Glass and a Xenon flash, and basically every single bell or whistle possible. This phone is basically fully loaded. So with great specs comes great performance throughout launching apps and multitasking, everything you would expect. And with the larger 1080p display in Windows Phone comes more tiles, which is actually really important, like a lot more tiles. This is actually nice for Windows Phone. So because these live tiles actually give you a lot of glanceable information, they're kind of like widgets in a way, the way they work on Android. You have so many more pixels to play with in Windows Phone that you can basically get all your live tiles in one big glanceable sort of billboard style and get all your information at once without even having to scroll. So that's a big thing you just flat out cannot do on any other Windows phone because you don't have this 1920 by 1080 big gorgeous six inch display. So you do have the trade off of the phone itself being a little bit bigger, but you have just such a, a nice comfortable layout now with all the space to work with. And the last benefit you get from all these awesome specs and hardware is performance, of course, just ridiculously good performance. So first of all, let me just say that Internet Explorer on Windows Phone is actually pretty good. Like it may not have as many features as something like Chrome on Android or Safari on iOS, but it's extremely fast here and I was not bothered at all by using it. Uh, I didn't feel the need to scout out any different web browser from the App Store because page loading was plenty fast and frame rates kept up with me. Zooming in and out was extremely smooth. Basically, I kept up with everything I did, and that's what I look for in a mobile web browser. So Internet Explorer, he was very good. And performance was also great in games. One area I found a lot more functional in Windows Phone was the game section, I guess, now that I have an Xbox. Uh, so it's easy, it's really easy to enjoy a, a game on a six inch 1080p display when you have the newest Snapdragon 800 and Adreno 330 GPU powering your gaming experience. You really can't go wrong here, so the only thing you might find is that you may wish there were more great graphically intensive games in the Windows Phone marketplace. I feel like if there was anything in the Windows Phone store to challenge this phone or push it to its limits, I couldn't find it. Uh, so, which I guess is more of a compliment to the phone than a complaint. But yeah, the App Store is growing every time I come back to it and try Windows Phone, so that's a good sign. But there is another thing where performance is great, is in gaming. And then another place where performance is great, I can't really talk about this phone without talking about the camera. So obviously the Lumia 1020 I reviewed earlier had a great camera, 41 megapixels, 
But this camera experience on the 1520, I think is every bit as good. You might not have the same resolution, but you still have 20 megapixels, um, a Xenon flash, Carl Zeiss glass, and the same awesome Nokia ProCam app that the Lumia 1020 had. So all of this means extremely high quality photos and a lot of control over taking them uh, in all kinds of light and all types of situations. Always great colors and high detail, and you can still crop down the 20 megapixel shots to zoom in on something afterwards. It might not be 40 megapixels, but hell, 20 is still a lot of pixels. Uh, and rarely, you, you think about it, that not that many phones have 20 megapixel cameras either uh, today. So that's pretty impressive. So yeah, this is nearly flawless hardware, objectively speaking. Everything about this phone was high quality to me. It even gets a lot of the little things right. The speaker quality is really good. The earpiece quality on your calls is really good. The battery life with the massive 3,400 milliamp hour battery is really, really good. The video quality from the camera, your 1080p video with optical image stabilization is really good. The button layout for the phone, on the most part, I mean, it's a big phone, but I think it's laid out appropriately for being a big phone. So that was really good. So again, and it also happens to have this incredible, beautiful fit and finish that you expect from the Nokia Lumia build quality. Uh, the only thing that might be a problem with this phone is with the future of Windows Phone getting updates since apparently the next version of Windows Phone is supposed to move to on-screen buttons, but we don't even really know this for sure. So I think it's pretty safe to say that the Lumia 1520 has provided the best Windows Phone experience to date, and I love it. So that's basically it. There has been your full review. This is one of my favorite phones of the year, and I'm glad I'm glad to say it's a Windows phone because I really love the diversity of the, the breadth of my favorite phones of 2013. And of course, there's much more about that coming up soon. And it's the holiday season, so there's many more videos upcoming. If you want to see those, be sure to subscribe. And of course, that's right next to your thumbs up button below. Thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.